What advice would you give a rapper to help them stay safe in L.A.? Know your surroundings. Um, but it all depends on who you are when you're coming here. I mean, if you're a normal citizen and shit, I'm pretty sure you should do your homework about where to go, where not to go. But like I said, you could be a target too. I mean, it's just like that. Uh, knowing the gang culture and growing up here, um, you just have to know who you come in here to fuck with. You have to know, uh, uh, you have to know your areas. You know what I'm saying? It's a thousand. It's a million motherfuckers here who gang bang. You get me and shit. Um, you you have to be very cautious about, like I said, where you are, what you post. You get me? Where you hanging out and who you around? Because it'll be a motherfucker around you who set you up in a minute too. You get me? Um. People think that, you know, the gang culture here is is kind of, you know, washed down or whatever, but it's not. Niggas is on patrol still every day. And, you know, that's what I say. You have to know who you affiliated with when you come here. Not that, you know, you're trying to deter motherfuckers who want to come to L.A. Because, you know what I'm saying, it's just... It is, you know, you still got tourists and motherfuckers who want to come in and experience or whatever. But when you own the hip hop or, you know, a, 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 a nigga from the streets or whatever, you really have to know who you associated with coming to Los Angeles. And I think that's going anywhere. Like shit, when I go on the road or go out of town or go to do shows, I'm I'm very, you know, I ask questions who the promoter is, who the promoter know, who they fuck with. You get me who they affiliate, who else is on the bill, who they beefing with, because, you know, all that shit is a factor. Right. So you do believe in checking in then? Oh, definitely. I, I definitely when I go to different spots, I mean, I've been traveling for a long time. So there are certain motherfuckers that I know that when I get to town, I let them know I'm in town. You feel me? Not that I feel like I have to for the safety or the welfare or whatever, but I look at it as just mutual respect. When I get to a motherfucker town that I've been going and I've been dealing with niggas, you know, on the street aspect for a long time, I've, it's always cool when you get to town and hit a motherfucker up and be like, yo, what's up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? I'm on my way out there. I just got here because then, you know, that shows motherfuckers that you respecting them and acknowledging them, you know, even you coming from a different side, you respect and acknowledging the nigga when you get to their city. I feel it's good. Like, not saying that you got to, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel uh, from my point of view with, with the relationships that I have built over the years from, from motherfuckers in the professional or just in the underground, it's always good to hit a motherfucker up and let them know when you coming in town because... Like I said, you might be cool with everybody, but then there might be motherfuckers out there that ain't cool with you. So it's always good to have that motherfucker that can probably watch your back or let you know the goings on in the inner city, wherever you go.